video game movies. Greetings and welcome to yet another episode of the Euromain Movie Report. This week I'm going to talk about the long-awaited movie adaptation of Electronic Arts racing game Need for Speed. And I first discovered Need for Speed the game in the mid to late 1990s. And it was basically a racing game where you were able to choose between these different cars and race in different races. And uh, over the years after the first game they improved the graphics, and but uh, there weren't very much story in the Need for Speed games until 2005 where they released Need for Speed Underground where, where they attempted to add a somewhat story about something about uh, underground illegal racing and having to await the cops and stuff like that. And it's that game which I have been told is the basis for the script for the Need for Speed movie. And the Need for Speed movie is basically about that we have our main hero, Toby Marshall, played by Aaron Paul, who we know from Breaking Bad. And he uh, lives in rural America and uh, he uh, runs his uh, late dad's custom car shop. And um, He's in, he has money trouble uh, because he's visited in early in the movie by the bank because he's not able to pay off his uh, dad's mortgage on uh, the body shop. And um, he uh, races in these uh, different races in, in an attempt to win money and he is supported by his um, friends Benny and Finn who uh, work at the shop and um, enter our villain, Dino Brewster, played by Dominic Cooper, who we knew from um, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. He is this shady character who has earned a lot of money uh, as a indie car uh, racing driver, and um, he uh, wants to hire Toby to uh, rebuild this uh, custom Ford Mustang, who is uh, which he's planning to sell, and uh, you can tell there's uh, friction between Toby and Dino because for once uh, Dino has uh, stolen Toby's former girlfriend, and she has moved to the big city with him, and yada yada yada, and we have seen all of that stuff before. And um, Toby, he uh, rebuilds this um, Ford Mustang, and um, the thing is that when uh, Dino challenges Toby and um, a, a friend of uh, Toby's, Ethan, if I remember correctly, who is the brother of uh, Toby's, the Toby character's ex-girlfriend, to a race, and um, being the bad guy, Dino Brewster, of course, uh, rams his car into Ethan's car, flipping, flipping it off the road, and Toby getting blamed for the accident and goes to prison. And when he uh, is released a couple of years later, he wants revenge. And then enters uh, Imogen Potts, uh, the Brit who helped uh, organize the purchase of the previously mentioned uh, Ford Mustang. And um, for some reason, Toby Marshall is able to borrow this um, Mustang from the now owner. And uh, Imogen Potts, uh, Julia, as uh, she's called in the movie, delivers the car and they go into a cross country race because they want to enter this. Um, illegal underground uh, race uh, and this race is organized by um, Michael Keaton's uh, character who is by far the best actor in the movie in my opinion because the other actors they are it's this movie cost uh, according to IMDB 66 million dollars to make and if you uh, subtract Michael Keaton and look at uh, the performance from the other actors, Aaron Paul is somewhat okay, but he's so uh, melancholic in my opinion and he doesn't 
there's no chemistry between him and the other actors, in my opinion. Yeah, all in all, the acting in um, Need for Speed is mediocre at best. And uh, I, I was a bit disappointed. I was a bit disappointed by that, but I didn't expect much from that movie, a uh, video game movie adaptation. But um, the character Benny, uh, played by uh, Scott Miss Cody, uh, he uh, is somewhat okay. He's um, he's funny, and um, Rami. Malak, who plays um, another a friend of Toby, he's somewhat okay too. Uh, you probably have recognized him from uh, the first night uh, and the second night of the museum where he played the pharaoh, and um, he does a somewhat okay job too. But it's like the material they are working with makes their acting performance. If, as I said previously. If you discard Michael Keaton, who does an okay, a, a, a great job, the other actors they aren't able to lift the, the material, in my opinion. So uh, making Need for Speed on the, the acting level a mediocre movie, but it's saved by um, the nice cars and the young women in tank tops and uh, tight pants, if you know what I mean. So uh, all in all, if I am going to rate Need for Speed, I will um, give it 3 out of 5 Coca-Cola bottles. That's it, your main of your main smooth report, signing off, and uh, next week, let's say, I'm gonna go uh, watch When Captain America Throws His Mighty Shield. All those who oppose his shield must yield. That's it. You remain of your main smooth report. Signing off. Wishing all of my viewers a pleasant weekend. And don't forget, if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button below or the like button if you like this video. And feel free to watch my other movie reviews. Bye for now.